Hello. This is going to be my review of a relatively cheap Android smartphone, the Blue J9L, made by the company Blue, BLU, which specializes in affordable smartphones and basic phones, meaning not smartphones. So anyways, what do we have here? We have a brand new cell phone that we just bought, and I'm going to be reviewing it. The Blue J9L, made by the company Blue, right here, as you can see, Blue. The J9L, this model, phone, I think it's about a six inch display, and it was around $90 before tax and shipping. So all in all, I paid maybe close to $100 for this smartphone. So how can I review the phone without having even opened the box? And the reason is I can do that is that I actually have one already. Well, I do have one. I have this phone. This is a second phone, the same model purchased for another member of our family. So I like this phone so much, having used it for five months, that I decided to buy another one. So this is a brand new box item, but really this is this phone. This is my review. Why do I like this phone? Well, for someone who really almost never uses a smartphone except for some calling and texting and maybe some light internet browsing here and there, not watching videos online, just, just some simple web pages, I like this phone because I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a smartphone, well, close to $100. That's what I spent and I like this device. I've used it for about five months. No problems. I think for the simple applications that I use it's totally fine and <clears throat> There's nothing more that I need now for someone who maybe might need just a device with higher performance uh, for certain applications or certain things maybe like watching videos online or games that's a different conversation, but for me, someone who just doesn't really use a phone but would still like a smartphone because I have my MTA train pass over here, my electronic ticket, so really it's just simple things like that, simple applications like the MTA app that are work well on this phone, and I'm very happy with that. Calling, texting a little bit, that's really all I need here. So in the context of do I need a, I would like a cheap, relatively cheap smartphone that has a large display and runs some applications, some simple applications very well. I'm very happy with this device. I haven't had any problems, no errors, no phone not crashing, no errors with the phone not turning on. So definitely, I'm not, I'm not endorsing this product. I'm just saying this is my own opinion. I'm not telling you to go out and buy this phone. I'm just saying that from my personal experience, this is not my first phone made by this company. This is actually the fifth one I've, I've looked at. So I've, I've looked at several phones. One of the phones from this company just didn't do very well. It kind of broke. All the others haven't had a problem with. I mean, that's the thing. When you buy a cheap smartphone, if it breaks, it's not really a problem. You haven't really spent that much money. But almost all the phones except one that I've used with this company, I've really liked. And I think maybe as you buy a more expensive phone, this is the most expensive phone I bought from this company, somewhere around $60. As we bought this $100 phone, I, I think, yeah, the performance is definitely better. Um, still, it just goes to show you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on a phone. The Blue J9L, my own opinion, I can't guarantee you're going to have a similar experience. I really like this phone. It's simple. It's does not too expensive. Um, sorry. And it runs the simple applications very well. The blue J9L, the camera, um, camera's okay. <clears throat> Don't really use it, but having used this phone for five months, I like the device and I have not had any problems with, trust me, if, if I, if I did, I would, I would let you know, but I can't seem to have anything there's nothing really bad that I can say about this phone. So if you're just curious about purchasing this phone, you want to see what accessories included. Okay, let's let's look right now. Okay, so not really many accessories here. I've, as you can see, I've already had this device, so I'll be able to tell you what exactly is in here. You can probably guess right here. Perhaps there's a there's a little plastic case included um, to help protect the phone a little bit from dust, and you know, hopefully you don't drop the phone. Uh, now, the question is, can I just open this? Okay, so the blue J9L, what, what to expect here? Not much. Uh, just you got the device, and you can see some of the specifications it lists right here. 6-inch display, 8 megapixel main camera, okay. Um, Android device, that is the operating system here. Blue, that is the name of the company. Sell many phones ranging from maybe around sixty dollars to a little over two hundred dollars, depending on what kind of uh, I don't know, I guess what kind of specifications performance you're looking for. This is the color blue, I think, that we purchased right here. Blue products model, as we said, the J9L. Kind of interesting 
uh, color here. So here's your phone. Six inch display is pretty large. It's very lightweight because we haven't inserted the battery, but we're going to do so right now. So here you can just peel this off, right? Uh, here's your camera, here's your flash. Also works as a flashlight. So here's your, here's your battery. We're going to insert that. We're going to show you how. Here's your, uh, the, uh, the adapter to charge in the wall, uh, the outlet in the wall. Um, it's going to connect to your USB cable, and the USB cable can be used to charge your phone or to transfer uh, videos and photos, transfer files to and from your computer. So here we're obviously, I'm going to say right now that the fastest way to charge the phone is through the wall. So all you do is take off the tie right here, connect the USB cable, this end, oops, the other end, to your adapter and that's it now you just plug it in plug this end to your phone and we're all set and ready to go fastest way to charge your phone so we got the battery <clears throat> you got a cool sticker right here that's awesome and not much else here except hopefully they included our case which they obviously did so you have you have your manual if you have any questions about the setup uh, the buttons maybe i'm sure it goes over uh, yeah, so it goes over the buttons, uh, okay, and then maybe a little screen protector here. Now uh, the cool thing right here that we have is this case that you saw on the other phone that we already have. Okay, it's nice to, nice to see this included. This will go around your phone. Now, I want to show you how to take off, how to insert the SIM card. We're going to do that very quickly. How to insert the battery, we're going to do that as well. So, what you want to do is... Some of these devices are just one piece, so there's no way to take apart the phone. There'll be like a little tool included to insert and then the SIM card will, tray will come out. This is one of those phones where you do have to take the back off, so you can probably focus. Okay, you see that? You can probably see right here. Okay, is it focusing? Yeah. So you have to take apart the phone. So what you do is, um, first few times it's not that, not that easy, but you hold one end very sturdy and hold the back of the phone. Now you just insert your fingernail here and then just quickly pull in opposite directions. So there you go. Uh, okay. Did it work? It did. So, so this one was pretty good. It's not easy to do with your fingernail. You didn't really need any other special equipment or anything like that. Right. Uh, question is, did I actually do it? Oh, there you go. Okay. Great. See, so it just takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get you'll get it eventually. Here's the battery. We're gonna insert the battery. So here you have your spaces for um, uh, spaces for a SIM card. I don't know if I actually know if there's a micro SD slot uh, for a memory card, but you know what? Disregard. I mean, we have our SIM cards. You can also oh maybe that's this is might be for your micro SD memory card. So you can insert a SIM card here. Great, and then you insert the battery and. And then you're good to go. Then, then you can actually just turn on the phone and start the standard Android setup. So there's your phone. Just gonna make sure we get the back on. We're gonna get. We have our little case that came with the phone. Of course, just make sure you insert your SIM card. And now, now we're all ready to go in just a few minutes. So here is your your Android device, your Blue J9L that we just purchased on Amazon. We purchased it for around $90, uh, plus tax shipping came out to maybe a little less than 100 Not Again, not going to guarantee the price for you, not going to guarantee that you're going to have a similar experience with this phone. I just like this phone. I don't really use many applications. I just, I rarely browse the internet. So for me, that's enough just for someone who doesn't really use a phone that much. Not that many accessories included, but you have your case, which was included. You have your um, required USB cable charger so that you can charge your phone, and that's it. That's all that was in the box, Blue J9L. Uh, no complaints here, having used the phone for five months. Very happy with it so far. If it breaks, I'll be sure to make a video. I don't want to say that these phones can never break, but so far, so good. The Blue J9L Android smartphone, relatively budget-friendly smartphone. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.